The mirrorless camera industry is evolving rapidly, and Canon is getting ready to make a bold move with its next-generation APS-C camera, the Canon EOS R7 Mark II. Slated for release in late 2025, this upcoming model is making headlines with a major rumored change, the complete removal of the mechanical shutter. If this proves true, the R7 Mark II would be Canon's first APS-C mirrorless camera to rely solely on an electronic shutter, marking a significant milestone in Canon's design philosophy, this radical change isn't coming out of nowhere. Canon's main competitors Nikon with its Z8 and Z9, and Sony with its blazing fast A9 III have already adopted shutterless designs in their high-speed models. The trend suggests that mechanical shutters may soon become a relic of the past, especially in Cameras aimed at fast action, wildlife, and sports photography. Canon appears ready to follow suit, bringing its own take on this modern direction, while full specifications haven't been officially released yet, reliable sources suggest that the Canon EOS R7 Mark II will come equipped with a 32MP stacked. APS-C sensor, a major leap from the original R7 standard CMOS sensor. This stacked design is expected to drastically improve readout speeds, enable burst shooting up to 40 frames per second, and significantly reduce rolling shutter effects. If true, this sensor upgrade alone could redefine what's possible in APS-C photography, the elimination of the mechanical shutter has many implications. First and foremost, it allows for silent shooting, making the camera perfect for wedding photography, wildlife observation, and documentary work where sound could be disruptive. It also reduces internal vibration caused by shutter movement, which helps produce sharper images, especially when using longer lenses or slower shutter speeds. To understand why this is significant, let's revisit the basics. Mechanical shutters operate with physical blades that open and close to expose the sensor. While reliable and accurate, they involve moving parts, which means they're prone to wear over time. On the other hand, an electronic shutter exposes the sensor digitally with no physical movement involved. This enables ultra-fast performance, quieter operation, and the potential for more compact designs, that said, electronic shutters aren't perfect. Earlier versions suffered from rolling shutter distortion, especially noticeable when shooting fast-moving subjects or panning quickly. Some cameras also dropped raw bit depth from 14-bit to 12-bit when using the electronic shutter, slightly reducing dynamic range and color precision. However, stacked sensor technology largely resolves these limitations by dramatically improving data readout speed, which in turn minimizes distortion and allows for full 14-bit raw image capture, the R7 Mark II is expected to feature an updated version of Canon's Digic processor, possibly a Digic X Plus or an entirely new generation. Combined with the stacked sensor, this should translate to faster autofocus, enhanced subject tracking, and improved low-light performance. Many insiders believe Canon will use this release to debut new AI-based autofocus features as well, similar. To what's being seen in Sony's most recent alpha models, video shooters also have a lot to be excited about. Rumors suggest that the R7 Mark II could offer 6K recording or oversampled 4K video with improved rolling shutter performance. The absence of a mechanical shutter means there will be no shutter noise during filming, which is ideal for professional video work. Additional features like 4K at 120 frames per second or Full HD at 240 frames per second may be included for slow motion capture making this an extremely capable hybrid camera for creators. From a design standpoint, Canon is rumored to model the R7 Mark II's body after the upcoming EOS R5 Mark II, bringing improved ergonomics, heat management, and weather sealing. This makes sense, as Canon likely wants to deliver a pro-level feel in an APS-C format, something that appeals to wildlife photographers, sports shooters, and travel content creators who value performance and portability. Let's compare this new model to its predecessor. The original Canon EOS R7, released in 2022, was a well-rounded camera with a mechanical plus electronic shutter combo, 15 frames per second mechanical and 30 frames per second electronic burst rates, 4K 60p video, and a price tag of around US$1,499. The R7 Mark II, on the other hand, is expected to raise the bar in every department, including autofocus accuracy, dynamic range, shooting speed, and video capabilities. Experts anticipate a launch price between $1,699 and $1,899, reflecting the stacked sensor and pro-level enhancements. The R7 Mark II's primary competition will likely be Nikon Z8, Sony's A6700, and even full-frame entry-level cameras from Panasonic and Fujifilm. However, if Canon delivers on these specs, the R7 Mark II could dominate the mid-tier mirrorless market, offering near-flagship performance in a lightweight, APS-C body now, let's talk about one of the biggest advantages. 
burst shooting speed. With up to 40 frames per second continuous shooting, the R7 Mark II is poised to be one of the fastest APS-C cameras ever made. This speed is invaluable for wildlife, sports, and bird photographers who need to capture split-second action. And because there's no mechanical shutter involved, there's no risk of shutter wear, making the camera more durable for long-term use. On top of that, Canon's renowned dual-pixel CMOS AF system is expected to get a significant upgrade. Improved eye tracking, vehicle detection, animal recognition, and even AI-powered prediction algorithms could make the autofocus system smarter and faster than anything currently in Canon's APS-C lineup, the potential removal of the mechanical. Shutter also aligns with a broader shift in camera design. As digital imaging advances, manufacturers are seeking to remove mechanical limitations in favor of sensor-level performance. By removing the shutter assembly, cameras become lighter, quieter, and less prone to internal failures. Canon's decision to move in this direction shows that the company is embracing the future while maintaining its dedication to quality and performance, however, Canon must also address the concerns of traditional users. Some photographers still prefer the tactile feedback of a mechanical shutter, or rely on it for dealing with artificial lighting situations that can cause banding with electronic shutters. Whether Canon introduces a simulated shutter sound, or Includes advanced flicker reduction settings, remains to be seen. So, is the Canon EOS R7 Mark II the future of APS C photography? All signs point to yes. If Canon successfully delivers a high speed, electronically shuttered camera with advanced autofocus, excellent image quality, and strong video capabilities, it could become the definitive hybrid camera under $2000.in. Terms of release timing, most insiders expect Canon to unveil the R7 Mark II in Q3 or Q4 of 2025, possibly at events like Photokina or Canon Vision. Until then, photographers and videographers alike will be watching closely for leaks, teaser announcements, and early test footage. In summary, the Canon EOS R7 Mark II isn't just another incremental upgrade, it's a significant milestone in Canon's mirrorless evolution. With a rumored stack sensor, blistering burst speeds, and a complete shift to electronic-only shutter operation, it represents Canon's strongest push yet toward a fully digital future, whether you're a fast-action photographer, a content creator, or a serious hobbyist looking to level up, the R7 Mark II could be the camera that changes everything.